Hi, this is Luke and Brent for Production Experts, and these are the new features in Studio One Pro 7 from Brisonus. Now, this is a major update that has a number of new features that will be of particular interest to those doing music production, as well as adding to existing features that Studio One users will know and love. So today I'm joined by Brent. Hello, Brent. How are you? I'm great. Yeah, excited to get into Studio One version 7 and look at some of these amazing new features. Excellent. Yeah, because I know that um, you are a user of a number of DAWs, but there are a couple of things in this update that may be of interest to people of other DAWs. That's right, isn't it? Definitely, yeah. There's some stuff now that definitely sets Studio One apart from other DAWs, and I think some things that might bring people over to it, perhaps. Absolutely. Now, there's um, there are quite a few features to go through, so... Um, I think what we should do, maybe um, if you if you talk about um, a couple of uh, things that have grabbed you in Studio One Pro Seven, and maybe I can go through a couple of mine. I mean, is there is there anything that that really jumps out at you, Brent, that you've seen and thought, "Wow, this is definitely." I think my the two biggest features for me have been the splice integration and the stem separation, and maybe okay. we start with the splice integration if that's okay sounds great awesome so for those people who are familiar we've always had the browse tab on the bottom right hand corner of the daw here but now within the, the browse tab we have this splice tab so usually we've had all these different instrument effects loops and fourth along we have the splice tab um, and this is exclusive to studio one no other daw has a splice integration like this so it's very very exciting I can do all of the usual things that you would do within the Splice standalone app, like search by tags, for instruments, genres, and nail down the key in the BPM. So that is brilliant if you're working within a set category of, say, instruments or genres, and you need to find something within the right key for that track. Where And it gets really interesting on this, this front homepage here because we see something slightly different to what we've never seen with Splice. So we can search by instrument, genres, and cinematic effects. These are just some of the sort of hot keys on the front panel. But this search with sound will probably be a bit of a, I don't like to use it over the top, but game changer for people who are working in fast-paced environments or people who just need to get out of their own head and almost have a co-producer with them in the studio. So this search with sound feature, what it means is I can drag a part in from inside of my project drop it into the splice integration now within studio one and it's going to analyze that file and try and find harmonic melodic content and also tempo content that matches up with my sample so i'm going to play my sample so you can first of all hear it so this is a rhythm guitar part in e minor it's at 90 beats per minute and now I've dropped that in. This is the reference material here, which is what I've just played. And now we have all of these different suggested parts from that file that I've dropped in. So if you listen, the harmony there is an exact match of what we dropped in. Now what's interesting is these parts here, you can see this is in C minor, whereas our part is in E minor. So what it's done is it's automatically changed the key to match the project and the sample that we've dropped into the splice integration within Studio One. So in my eyes, this integration has been built to fit within Studio One. It's not just an add-on, it's something that really works natively within the door itself. And this is this is a big win for people who already are splice users or people who have been thinking about it who are you know, have been using Studio One or are new to Studio One and they want to get just a little bit quicker with coming up with ideas perhaps or maybe, like I said, have, it's almost like having a co-producer in my eyes. I think it's probably my favourite feature, but there is quite a few features in this update that... So so for, for so for music production and for, for creators, this is, this is the one basically, isn't it? I, th I think so, yeah. I think if you're a beat maker or a... 
you know, you could be a vocalist and you're not familiar with creating, you know, chords or melodies. You can use this to your advantage to assist you when creating your own songs or your own beats. So it's it's definitely something for the more for the producers, the songwriters, the beat makers. So if you're a mixer, this might not be as exciting or a mastering engineer, but I think what they're doing here is they're giving every user something to sort of shout about and be passionate about. Um, the first thing that, that I thought, okay, wow, is the integrated launcher. Um, oh. Because, yeah, I mean, we all know about the, the live way of doing things, the Ableton live way of doing things, tile-based workflow. I know you're, you're a big um, live user as well, aren't you, Brent? Indeed, so, yes. I, uh, I do love Studio One, but I also have a soft spot for live. Yeah, so, and up until now, they've definitely been two distinct platforms for maybe you know different workflows um so this update definitely sees studio one pro uh, become a bit of a contender to the live crown you know um i'll be interested to see how that works out but for artists um who do tend to you know work hybrid work on the road work in the studio this could be something um pretty interesting I, i'd imagine that the launcher feature probably plays nicely with the splice integration as well you know you could pull samples from splice and drop them in the launcher get ideas exactly. going exactly yeah. i mean you'll never ever be stuck for things to put in the cells you know so Not now the other thing that um caught my eye was the improvements to the impact drum machine so there's now the in place editor so you do have um, a better overview of what you're doing in impact whereas before you'd maybe have the floating window with the interface and they can jump into the piano roll or onto the timeline and um, to do your edits. But now this has been optimized um, with a new view. So you can, it can kind of help different workflows. So um, you get one window and you can see your patterns, your samples um, and your pads all in one place. So um, that is a great new feature, the in-place editing with the impact drum machine as well. Are, are you a user of impact? Brent's, um yeah. yeah yeah i really love impact i think it was my well it still is my go-to sort of one shot beat making thing if i'm going to pull in loads of samples yeah and one of my favorite things to do with impact is when it's a little thing i learned from russ actually is when you drag a sample onto the first pad and you hold shift it'll you know explode them all out by transients i think yeah so it sounds like this feature might be great when you're using loops as well with impact and you can get a little bit more integrated with it so it's great to see some more continued support for like the existing stuff as well great so i know that there was another one brent and this one is big isn't it yeah i i feel like i don't know which I, i'm not sure if i prefer the splice integration or drum roll the stem separation feature <gasps> because it's uh this is a really big update and as soon as i seen this it was like oh i might have to start spending more time in studio one again because I'm sort of between doors, but this has grabbed me ever since. And I've been using it on yep. loads and loads and loads of stuff. We now have the the ability within Studio One version 7 to be able to extract multiple parts from a single stereo or mono track within the actual application itself. We're not leaving for another application. So I'm going to play this, this uh, sample that I have here. This is like a song starter loop. I've actually pulled it from Splice, so it just shows how, how well that's working already. So I've pulled this in. It's uh, it's like a soul sample. I'll just let you listen to it. So we've got a mixture there of, we've got vocals, we've got bass, we've got keys, but what I really want to grab from that is just the vocal, because the instrumental is not what I need for my track, and this happens all the time, you know, you maybe find a fantastic sample, but you want to pull just the bass from it, or just the drums, or nine times out of ten, probably the vocal sample. So you can actually do this with inside of Studio One now, which is just incredible to, to me at least <laughs> uh, if you hit command u on a mac or you can right click and go on the menu here and there should be a separate stems feature you can determine what it is that you want to extract from this actual loop so like i said i, I just want to grab the vocals but i can also click drums bass and other and for other it'll sort of use its algorithm to determine what other may may be so it could be 
additional percuss- uh, percussive sort of transient elements or perhaps it's more of like a background um, noise layer so it really is quite sophisticated so i'm going to hit ok and i'm going to leave all of the boxes ticked here within stem separation so that we can we can see everything that it pulls from it now the longer the sample obviously the longer it will take for the stem separation to work but i was surprised at how fast it is because i thought you know a sample of this length to pull all of these different layers from from it it should should take a little bit of time but that took maybe five to ten seconds wow. um so it's quite you know lightning speed it's 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 good enough where you can just do it on the fly as you're working um and yeah so you remember the sample I played before we now have it in a folder which makes it just nice for organization and then we can apply uh, processing processing to it in an easier way but there's the the vocal on its own so let's let's check this out i mean <laughs> this is just that's just crazy to me because i've i've never had this feature in any application not even native to adore and and the 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 quality of it is phenomenal like even this little section here the background vocals that it's picked up i don't know what it's doing it must be some incredibly good code, but it is working fantastic. I mean, I wanted the vocals from it, but let's check out the bass while we're on. That's quite impressive, considering this is like a, yeah. a really retro, lo-fi, old-feeling sample. It's, yeah. Uh, yeah, for me, yeah, I think I'd probably put that at number one, at least in my eyes, for this update. <laughs> i agree I, I mean how how could i not <laughs> it's that you know um we've got some great stuff in there and there are so many other new features in there as well i mean just very very quickly you also mm. get deep flight one has been extended uh, so you get standalone vsti now as well yeah. included with studio one uh you get the new advanced tempo detection as well so uh for clickless workflows you can go in and get that information for all your grid-based editing that you need to do there's global transpose there's a very various new midi editing improvements um and you also get cv um voltage support as well for controlling oh. yeah so if you if you've got um external modulus exactly yeah so there are some hours days weeks months to be lost <laughs> um that's that's impressive yeah i didn't yeah. i didn't see that one actually yeah yeah so yeah cv support um so of course you can um now control those directly from inside studio one using cv voltages so great yeah, and unexpected that's... as well I, that that was something that i didn't really see coming no i think that that's again another tick for me because not everyone's completely 100% in the box now, so to have some outboard integration that we can include now with the CV, that's that's another win as well. These little features are just as important as these huge flagship features for sure. Absolutely, Brents. Really, all in all, lots to like there. So those are the new features in Studio One Pro 7 from Presonus. Thanks to Brent, and also thanks for watching. To find out more and to read our full article, head over to the Production Experts blog.